Hi, this is T.H. Colhane for Solar Cities, and Bill Colhane's behind the camera. Over a hundred years ago, here in Germany, an inventor came up with a way to give people bright white light from swamp gas. There was, at that time, in both England and Germany, a lot of sewer uh, runoff that was going beneath the cities, and it had to be vented. And so they had what they called destructive gas lamps, lamps that would burn that gas so it wouldn't become explosive, and also light the streets. So using biogas was something that was very well known in Europe, particularly in Germany and England, uh, just before the turn of the last century. And yet, because, as we know, natural gas, biogas, produces a very, very dim blue flame, it doesn't release a lot of light. It does release a lot of heat. And so gas lamps were being used, but it was hard to get good illumination from them until this German inventor found a way to take silk and make it into a sock and then impregnate it with certain salts of rare earths which would become incandescent when they burned and release a lot of light and relatively little heat. So what we're doing now is we're replicating that in the year 2010 on July 14th, which is Bastille Day, the French Independence Day, in a bid for liberté, égalité, fraternité around the world. We hope that uh, we can revive this practice using biogas. We're on our porch here in Germany, and uh, we have a full 200-liter trash barrel full of biogas that we produced uh, from our kitchen garbage. And we just went down to Bauhaus today, and we bought the uh, Kadak Stove and Lantern Adventure Kit, Adventure to Go. This is just a little, uh, a little air, um, air intake uh, stand. And on it, one places either a camping stove or a lantern. And usually, you buy for one euro and 35 cents an adventure gas canister of high pressure gas to run it. But when you're out in Africa or you're in the Middle East, if you're really going far away from the grid, so to speak, you don't want to pack a suitcase full of gas containers when, in fact, you can produce your own gas from your kitchen waste. So that's what we're demonstrating here. We have to make a few modifications, just removing the pressure restrictor pin on both of these. But as you can see, and here's the miracle, this clear biogas that otherwise would have almost an invisible flame is now very visible with a very nice white flame that can be used to illuminate the house. So this is our pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So the mantle, after it's been burned, assumes a white color. And then I use a zip tie, hold the tube on. And then this part here, you can just bend back like this to feed your tube, to feed your tube through make sure that there's a nice even curve in there and that it's not bent and then so you can get a couple of turns on this before it snaps in that's it Und landet, bis das 
Der Chicken ein Steak. Und dann geht das hier hoch, das Flugzeug. Und runter ist das Flugzeug. Und dann lande ich da rüber. Und dann bum, bum, bum. So, good evening. This is July 15th on July 14th, 2010, which was Bastille Day. We fixed up this adventure pack uh, lantern, camping lantern, not to run on these canisters of adventure gas, which aren't much of an adventure when you're out in the bush and you can't get any more, but to run on kitchen garbage or any source of organic waste, the methane gas that is produced. And as you can see, it works just as well as the canister of gas. And so we have a lantern. We've just modified the lantern so that the gas can be ported right in the side here. And then this can be taken around mm. or hung. Mama. And it makes a very nice, uh, very nice lantern that Mama. now is completely free to run. So you can try this at home. Just get yourself any camping stove or camping lamp. This one is very nice because you can switch out the stove and cook on the gas, or you can then replace this head with the lantern. For Solar Cities, I'm T.H. Culhane, Zabilla Culhane, and Kilian Culhane behind the camera.